Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on to today's video and if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back you guys. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys some fun, quick and easy DIY projects that you can make while being stuck at home. And I personally feel like this is something that I have been doing quite a lot while being stuck at home during the lockdown. So while being in the lockdown, I have kept myself distracted from everything that's happening in the world right now just so I could focus on making DIY projects and pretty much stay creative, keep myself distracted. And I pretty much just made these DIY projects using the supplies that I have at home and which is why I decided to share with you guys these DIY projects that I made at home. So without taking much of your guys' time, let's dive into the video and without further ado, let's begin with the video. To make this DIY project, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of felt fabric, thread and needle, pearl stickers, those are optional, crafting wire, color of your own choice, and also a chapstick. First, grab the felt fabric, fold it from one end to the other, and this is how it would look like. Then, turn the fabric horizontally. This is where we will need a thread and needle. Grab the needle and take out 30 inches of the thread, put it through the hole of the needle like this, and then double thread the needle by pulling the thread through the needle. Making both ends equal in length, next, once you reach till the end of the thread, make sure to form it into a knot. Now that's complete, you can now go ahead and start threading from the back and through the front of the fabric. Now I'm just going to fold up the bottom like this and then I'm going to stitch from the inside so that it becomes a little pocket and once that has been stitched, this is how it would look like. Now that's done, next grab a crafting wire. If you have a key ring, you could use that but if you don't, you can use a crafting wire. Pretty much cut out a piece of crafting wire about eight and a half inches, shape it up into a circle, and then once you reach till the end, twist them together. Once that's done, next, place the wire on top of the fabric and fold the top and then stitch that area up. Once that's stitched, I added some pearls and this is how it looks like, you guys. Here is the finished look. To make this next DIY project, you're going to need a scratch pad, butterfly stencil, and a wooden stick that comes with the uh, pad. Take out a sheet, and then once you have all your supplies ready, place the butterfly stencil on top of the sheet and grab your wooden stick. And using the stick, start shading in the butterflies. off I wrote butterflies at the bottom of the sheet in cursive and here is the finished look. To make this next DIY project you're going to need is some molding clay, popsicle sticks and a hot glue gun. First start off by picking out two different colored clays. I'm going to be going with white and purple. Next I'm going to start off with taking a grape size amount from the purple and white clay. Um, I'm probably gonna go a little smaller than a grape size, maybe like a mini grape or something. Yeah, that's the size I'm gonna go with. And then next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to slide each piece of clay under my fingers to form a log. Next, I'm going to stick both the clays together. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna form it into a lollipop by rolling the logs together. Once that's done, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a popsicle stick and place some hot glue on the top of the popsicle stick and stick the clay on top of it and this is how it will look like. And here is the finished look. To make this next DIY project, you're going to need is a cardboard piece, artificial roses, scissors, hot glue gun, and ribbon. 
Start off with grabbing a cardboard piece and start off with tracing out two hearts. Once you do that, cut them out and that way you have two hearts. Next, using the leftover cardboard piece, cut out a rectangular piece making sure it will fit on both the hearts and stick them together using a hot glue gun. Once that's complete, next I'm going to start adding on the artificial roses on the box and so one down and more to go. Add on the ribbon and here is the finished look. First you're going to need is a construction paper, color of your own choice, a white piece of paper, a hard hole puncher, and a glue stick. Grab a piece of colored construction paper in a rectangular shape. Make sure that the length fits the white piece of paper that you're going to be sticking it on. Just continue hole punching um, as you go. And once you reach till the end, you'll see this is how it will look like. Once it's done, just glue it onto the white piece of paper. And I'm pretty much just going to be gluing on the leftover heart-shaped construction paper pieces onto the sheet of paper. And here is the final look, you guys. And that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. I do hope this video does come in handy and really helpful for many of you guys. And I do hope that you guys do end up trying these DIY projects and actually try making these DIY projects at your home with your kids, with your family, or with, by yourself, however way you want. You guys can definitely tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore and Mathru, and just down here as well. Thank you for watching today's video. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really motivates me to keep posting more better content for you guys. And, and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my posts. But for all my video updates, you guys can definitely check me out on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore and Mathru. And also you guys can also follow me on on TikTok. My TikTok is underscore and free math through as well. And don't forget to follow me. And today's video shout out goes to Emily Nelson. Shout out to you. In order to get a shout out, all you have to do is give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you'll be easily entered in to get a shout out in my next video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, see you soon, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.